Hello there. September is here and the last few weeks of summer are coming to a close. This is the series we look at the best games releasing each month and the latest free games to help you save a little cash. Let's do this. The headlining game of the month is The Last of Us Part 1. First released back in 2013, Joel and Ellie's journey was a masterpiece. A survival trek across America while constantly being pursued by these zombie-like creatures. And the real threat, of course, is always humans. The entire game has been rebuilt, yet I think calling this a remake may be a stretch too far. That said, here's all the stuff which has changed. The visual upgrades are now on a par with The Last of Us Part 2, with HDR and a solid 60 frames per second. The game's physics engine has seen an upgrade to allow for more destruction in scenes. The AI on both your buddy side and the enemies are now much more evolved and will flank and recover more realistically. The PS5 haptics have been embraced, so be sure to touch a giraffe if you get the chance. The Last of Us Part 1 is bundled with all the DLC flashbacks from the original game, and new modes have been announced too. Permadeath for those who genuinely want to feel the stress of survival, a new speedrun mode is officially here to time your progress, and a ton of unlockables ranging from in-game outfits to a model select section to see the characters in vivid detail, all on top of some great accessibility features. The core game remains the sublime third-person brutal stealth survival outing which the series is renowned for. The Last of Us Part 1 is only on PS5 from September 2nd. A potential huge free-to-play game jumps into early access this month, Disney Dreamlight Valley. But wait, before you skip, give me a minute, because this could be really good. Dreamlight Valley is a life sim adventure game. If you're a fan of something like Animal Crossing, you get a large part of what Dreamlight Valley is trying to achieve. We rock up to our very own island with a bunch of Disney characters, but something's wrong. They have memory loss due to something called the forgetting. Our job is to remake this dream world, unlocking characters along the way. They become your neighbours who regularly need help and offer jobs and minigames. I've played a little and I can certainly see how this game will take over your life. Our plan is to build the perfect world and move in our favourite Disney characters. I kind of want to live next door to Jack Sparrow if I'm honest. For that to happen, we'd need to visit their world, assist them and hope they want to move in on our island. As it's a free to play game, we'll need to wait and see what the catch is, because they do want your money. And the first part of that is already here. This free game is only available to paying customers right away. Just like Multiverses last month, early access costs. But wait, there is a little hope. Xbox have announced Game Pass subscribers will get access right away, and it's heavily suggested PlayStation will do the same later in September. So it may be a waiting game if you want to play 100% for free. The final release of Disney Dreamlight Valley is set for early 2023 on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Switch. Ok, let's jump to a free to play game which isn't hiding behind a paywall. Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. This huge update to the online saga brings a complete overhaul to the game. Many have said it should be recognised as a new game rather than a content drop. As you can probably tell, it's an online only action RPG set in a seamless open world. Play with up to 32 players and explore the world, discovering new challenges and surprise fights along the way. If you've played pre-update, you should know that the control scheme has been made much more accessible to controller players. And now all story missions are fully voiced with a vastly improved menu system and cinematic cutaways. We play as Arcs, brave warriors who must understand a new life form which has landed on the planet and will change our world forever. PSO2 New Genesis releases totally free on PlayStation on August 31st and it's already available on PC and Xbox right now. And I gotta admit, this update does look good. Ok, an update on another free game we looked at last month, Century Age of Ashes. A few weeks back, the dragon riding air combat game released on Xbox, but suddenly the PS4 and 5 releases were postponed. Since then, the team have worked hard to improve the quality before release on PlayStation and thanks to an update this week, they have confirmed the free PlayStation version will be releasing in September before the end of summer. And Google tells me summer ends on September 23rd, so look out for it. There is another free to play game expected to release suddenly this month, but it isn't confirmed yet, so take what I say with a pinch of salt. Kart Rider Drift, a Mario Kart clone which isn't restricted to any platform. This one is quite strange because surprisingly there is another free-to-play kart racer coming soon, Disney Speedstorm. 
which means Kart Racer Drift need to get a move on and release to prevent being overshadowed. They may not have the characters which Disney have, but one thing looks promising. There are no paywalls and there are no pay to win mechanics. And supposedly they have the superior online play. I guess we wait and see. If nothing is announced, I'll keep you updated on its progress next month. Hey look, another Lego game. Lego Brawls is here in their own platform fighter. Just like Multiverses or Smash Bros, the core gameplay is all about beating the bricks out of each other to be the last one standing. But Lego Brawls has a few other options too. A capture point game mode, which is all about scoring points in designated areas, and collection mode is about grabbing bricks before the other team, yet it's possible to beat them out of each other too. The real hook is building your own minifigure. The customization is just like real life. Lego Brawls retails at around $40, and to be honest, as there are free versions of platform fighters already on the market, it may suffer because of this decision. Imagine a free version which has paid crossover characters. I would totally buy a Deadpool minifig. Lego Brawls comes to PlayStation, PC and Xbox and Nintendo Switch on September the 2nd. After the monumental success of the Soulsborne genre, culminating in Elden Ring, it's not surprising to see many copycat games popping up. One of those looks quite promising, Steel Rising. I'll be honest, the mechanics are nearly identical, but instead of farming souls, we pick up Anima Essence, which is used to upgrade our stats, unless it's lost after death on the battlefield. As Steel Rising is so similar to FromSoft games, the details are what sets them apart. Like this, playing as a clockwork ballerina maid who is now a vengeful guardian. Set in France in 1789 during the French Revolution, the king has created a merciless mechanical army, and to save history, we have to face them all. Steel Rising releases on September 8th on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. Is anyone here a fan of rhythm games and first person shooters? If yes, you need to check out Metal Hellsinger. Imagine Doom crossed with Beat Saber. It's such a genius idea. The music playing is perfectly synced to the speed of your weapon's fire. The hammer hits on every beat. The music is technically a mechanic here. Each weapon has its own tempo, with the twin revolvers shooting quicker than the heavier shotgun. It's honestly Doom the Musical. The tracks are heavy metal with lots of shouting to represent hell, and ultimately beats per minute becomes bullets per minute. The demo is completely free to play, so if this concept sounds good to you, please give it a try without spending a penny. Metal Hellsinger releases on September 15th on PC, PS5 and Xbox Series. Be warned, going back to any other FPS after this feels a little boring. And have you seen Tunic? Wait a sec, do you say Tunic, Tunic or Tunic? Tunic is finally coming to PS4 and 5 after six months of exclusivity on Xbox, and it's amazing. Tunic is a throwback to the old Legend of Zelda games, yet it soon becomes clear it has difficulty curves straight out of Demon's Souls. The game tells you absolutely nothing, as we can't read the language used in game. Exploration and finding hand scribbled notes on old SNES game manuals is the only way to decipher new information. I'll be honest, you may need online wikis to help with this. Tunic wanders the overworld, finding dungeons to venture into, discovering items in mysterious chests. And guess what? None of that is explained too. So if you have the self-control and the determination to get through it, Tunic is great. And if you don't, Google is your best friend. Tunic comes to PlayStation on September 27th. There are tons of games coming out this month that I didn't get to talk about, like Isonzo, a World War I first-person shooter, and of course the usual sports sims, like FIFA 23, another annual update. Ultimate Team Addiction is real. So what are you playing this month? I'm looking forward to going back to see Joel again after he's been away playing golf. And I'm definitely jumping back into Hellsinger. I'm Adam, you're awesome, it's been a pleasure, I'll see you next time.